But now it's time to get moving. Fitness expert Brent Bishop is here to show us an easy workout routine. Okay, he says maybe not that easy, but something that you can do on a hot and humid summer day because Brent never does easy. How are you, B? I'm great, Tracy. How are you? Good, you're surviving the heat? Uh, it's amazing that you're out there. It's sweltering today, by the way, looking cool as a cucumber. So let's talk a little bit about what we should be careful of when we are out there and trying to get a workout in. Yeah, Tracy, I mean, although there's some benefits to working out uh, in the heat, you've got to take precautions. One of the biggest ones is hydration. You've got to make, make sure you're hydrated, uh, take in that water, because what happens is your body loses about up to two liters of water every hour in this heat. And you can only actually absorb about half of that. So you can get into a pretty danger zone if you're not hydrated. Uh, your central nervous system basically to, uh, basically pushes all the blood towards the skin and away from the, the organs. So what happens is your heart rate goes up, you know, it changes, it changes your blood volume, and it can get really dangerous. You can end up developing hyperthermia or worse yet, stroke or tissue damage, which we don't want. We do not want that. But there are some benefits to getting your workout on in the heat, aren't there, Brent? There are benefits. I exercise in the heat all the time. You got to be careful and you got to progress it, of course. But the benefits are you could become acclimatized to be able to increase your duration working out in the heat. Not only that, there's a great transfer from working out in the heat to doing activities in more cooler environments. So you can get your performance up there as well. Okay, so when we get out there to get our workout on, what should we bring with us? Give us the list. All right, as I said in the beginning, hydration, 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 really important. You got to bring your water bottle, okay, make sure you're hydrated. Uh, and a good visual here, actually, your pee should not look like this, right? If urine looks like apple juice, <laughs> you need to be drinking water more frequently and more of it to make it look like lemonade, okay? So go for the lemonade, not the apple juice. Uh, secondly, there are a lot of, if you have longer duration workouts happening, um, there are a lot of obviously sports drinks with electrolytes and, and sugar you might need for longer runs, that type of thing for energy. Uh, and then some great products that also have BCAAs, branch chain amino acids, which increase your amino acid pool, decreasing muscle degradation and helping you with recovery. Another favorite thing of mine to, do, to use all the time on my long rides, long runs, is a hydration pack. You can put your wallet, your keys, anything in the backpack. And of course you have this great straw, I'm wearing one right now sipping as you go, making sure you get that hydration in. There's no way you can be out in that hot sun and not bring some sun protection. What do you suggest, B? Yes, Tracy, you've got to protect yourself from the sun. Uh, SPF minimum of 30, okay? Apply every two hours at a minimum. Make sure it's oil-free and sweat resistant. Uh, but also, a good pair of sunglasses is important to block those dangerous UVA, UVB rays. And guys, wear synthetic materials, wear sweat wicking materials, not cotton. It'll just hold on to the sweat and impact that evaporation of your sweat. So now we know all of the things we need for our outdoor workout. Uh, we even know what our pee should not look like. So now, can you show <laughs> us a little example <laughs> of a circuit that we can Perfect. do out in this heat, B? Absolutely, so make sure you do this hope, uh, easily early morning is best and wear a hat. Uh, keep it short to begin with and acclimatize over a couple of weeks, one to two weeks, you can get a little bit longer with the workout. This is gonna be a 15 minute workout, under 15 minutes, one minute per exercise. And uh, first one is gonna be a front squat, so you're gonna have your elbows up, counteract, the hips going backwards. Then I'm gonna come up halfway, step back with the right leg. Same thing, halfway out of that squat, back with the left leg. So this is a great exercise to hit the glutes, hamstrings, quads, and even work on that posture. A little bit of weight with the water pack as well. So one minute of that. Next one would be wide foot position. You're gonna go into your plank push up. So you're gonna go all the way down into this position, in with the feet, out with the feet, down into a push up from the knees or the feet and come right back up. All right, number three would be side to side, about six feet. You're getting agility, you're getting that cardiovascular up. We gotta get that conditioning in. One minute side to side, stay nice and low. And last but not least, Tracy, you know I love to work the glutes and posture. We're gonna go into a bounding tripod, load that right leg, jump to the side, tap down to get your balance, and then extend straight out. Same thing, back and forth. Extend straight out. We're hitting the entire posterior chain there. Those four exercises, three rounds, make sure you have your water throughout and you've got your workout done in under 15 minutes, get on with your day. See, I like the idea of that, especially in your hot sun. Make it quick, make it explosive. Uh, you even have elements of balance in there, which is fantastic. And then you walk to the location, walk home, you're done for the day. B, thank you so much for that.